What's up? It's Angel. So. I'm having technical difficulties right now. I blew through like four devices in the last month or two. So I'm down right now and I can't like really produce any reviews or videos or anything. So I'm going to hop on here and talk about a few things real quick and, and to say basically I will be back. So I've been on the sidelines going crazy because I'm seeing everything happening and I can't crazy. I can't say nothing. I can't. I, w I want to get in the game so bad. <laughs> so, what I want to talk about real quick though is this possible takeover of reality TV by YouTubers. This shit crazy. I am so geeked about this because I, like everybody else, our tastes for drama and entertainment have evolved okay we want something different we're in the market for a new type of drama new type of entertainment some some authentic drama psycho drama we want some real shit we tired of this scripted bullshit that tlc sharp entertainment all of them keep trying to feed us and it's starting to piss me off because they keep trying to pull this shit when we specifically ask them to stop. So they're about to lose their little slot in reality TV to YouTubers. And that's pretty damn exciting to me because I'm always like rooting. You know, I'm always about the underdog coming up. Like that's, that's pretty dope. Especially because they can't get their shit together. Especially because they keep trying to pull a fast one over us. And y'all yeah, know Kate and Yates try to pull a pull a fast one and get on some scripted shit the other day. But they got busted so fast. Like, they couldn't even <laughs> finish it before we realized what they was up to. So, it's not, it's not even, it's a non-issue because they obviously can't pull it off. And, like, I don't even know why Yates would put Cody up to trying to be slick and he eat chubby as hell in the first place like this is actually the other day this fat dude tried to pull a fast one on me and i'm i don't know why i hate when fat niggas try to act skinny but i wanted to talk about this possible takeover and actually i made a video on this already and it's on my ipad and i can't access the cloud i made a lot of stuff and I'm really, really, like, oh, so mad that I can't access it. But I might just make it over. I made a video about why this takeover of reality TV by YouTubers may possibly happen. I gave a list of reasons that I inventoried the situation. And I won't get too much into it right now since I already got a separate video on it. But it, it might just be about to be quiet for reality tv it really is because we own something completely different they study trying to um rotate the same storylines over and over like we as, as things get more real and life gets more harsh and shit like we want something we want our drama to step up to the plate to be upgraded because we need something different. This shit is real. And so they can get with the program. TLC and Sharp and all them, obviously. So yeah, I'm excited about that. And I wanted to address this whole and I'm using Darcy's picks. And I'm using Darcy as an example of what I'm about to talk about with Yates because Darcy, Darcy took 20 years to accomplish her dream. Because so I want to talk about dreams come true. Yes, they do. Darcy took 22 decades, <laughs> allegedly, to get her own reality show. But she finally got it. And you got to give it to her. Because to me, Dar Darcy kind of seems like she just don't have a real good grasp on anything at all about life regarding life it's like no one ever taught her anything and 
for some reason, she hasn't been able to figure anything out on her own either. So, she just seems kind of <laughs> confused and just, just, just doesn't know what she's... But she was able to pull off a reality show. Her favorite dream she accomplished. And I say that to say, this whole takeover of you know youtubers this is a chance this is an opportunity and i wonder if yates realized this that this is his opportunity to make his own dreams come true i wonder if he knows he's staring directly in the face at his opportunity that he wants and i think he wants to be famous for no reason so this is exactly his and i know that chasing what you want in life trying to accomplish your objectives or your mission i know a lot of people feel like it takes a lot it costs a lot it takes a lot of effort time energy and especially if you're not used to putting in that work it seems like it takes a lot but if you think that that costs a lot or it takes a lot wait till your ass get the bill for not doing shit Wait till that mark show up. <laughs> and you really don't want those type of problems. You really don't want those bills. Because that, that shit is checked so hard. And, and got so much built up on it. Like You really don't want to see those bills. I mean, it, that shit will eat you like a Mack truck. The effects of that, of not doing shit, of not trying at all to accomplish what you want in life. I'm telling you. <laughs> then you gotta be on some, somebody gotta explain to me why I ain't got shit type <laughs> of stuff. It's just the end, you really don't want that. But there are a few things that he needs to understand if he does. If he does want to get on this, if he does want to, because when you look at his numbers, I like his numbers, his views on his channel, obviously his reviews of like the housewives and all that don't get nearly as many people like the crowd for the drama shit is overwhelming. The line is out the door. Like, everybody show up for the drama shit with Yates. The reviews of Housewives get like 3,000 review, views. Um, views. And the genre shit get like 15, 20,000. The crowd goes wild. <laughs> and I wonder, I mean, I know he realizes this. So what this says is that Yates, mm, he's a lot more, he's a lot more, um, when there's conflict and static involved and, and I guess because he's basically a villain <laughs> is what it is so he does a lot better and I also did oh my goodness I did a review on the Lita confrontation the Lita and Yates well Yates actually showed up that shit was that shit went hard okay he gave the performance of a lifetime <laughs> it was so much psychodrama Oh my goodness. Again, I already got it. I won't get too much into it, but that was amazing. I, I love that confrontation. Two things that Yates needs to understand if he's going to go this route, is he gonna, if he's going to walk that line, is that he got to get up this victim shit. Nobody wants to see that. It's depressing. It's bringing us down. It's anti productive. It's not even interesting. He has to understand what it is that people like. And you got to give the people what they want if you're going to be successful. You got to give people what they want. So, it's not this victim shit. We don't want to see that. It's depressing. Mentally depressing. We want... It's not, and it's also not like Gates coming out with a wig on that. That shit is not funny to us. What's funny to us is that your squad is the Golden Girls. That's what we find hilarious and interesting. And we can't figure it out because it's so strange. 
That's what people get a kick out of. Not the wigs, not the victim. We don't get a kick out of you being a victim. But the awards show that he did an awards ceremony for the VIP people who supported him through something that never happened. <laughs> he put out a list of people's names. Like That's the type of original creative creativity and, and innovation that that make that can make him interesting okay if he realizes that and if he um makes the most out of those types of traits that he has but he has to understand that but yes this can be an opportunity to make his dreams come true his favorite dream come true and if he's not up for the challenge, then he just needs to, you know, give somebody else the slot. Let somebody else take it. Because a lot of people will like that, I guess. But, yeah, I'm all on board for it because I think people are sick of this whole fake drama that, that they are uh, steady. Like, we don't want to watch no fucking Gilligan's Island anymore the same thing over and over again like, see, i have to get off this being too sensitive shit like one minute he's strong arming people into not saying anything negative about him and the next minute he's like more bitch than a bitch so he's gonna have to get off that because if you want to be famous for nothing people are going to talk shit about you that's what is making you famous you can't want to be famous and tell people don't say anything about me that doesn't even make sense okay because you're not gonna ever get where you're trying to be you gotta get off that caring about what people think and what people say about you you're gonna have to toughen up if you want to be famous for nothing and if you want to take advantage of this opportunity i'm trying to help you so you have to understand, I know that, I don't know where you are, where Gates is with this whole housing situation, but it's not about whether you got the house or not. It's not about whether you accomplish your goals, but you have to have goals. You have to have a storyline. Everyone needs to have goals in life and a storyline and stay focused and, and, and to kind of um, center us have us something to go hard for otherwise it'll drive you insane just not having goals but also when you are trying to be famous and you know try to you gotta have a storyline with what you're trying to do if he decides to get on this so but don't confuse having goals with needing to accomplish them nobody gives a fuck if you accomplish your goals or not like <laughs> if you notice the housewives they all, like, I don't, I haven't watched them since Atlanta, but they all, all had some type of goal, like, business that they were trying to start because that, the audience needs that, that, that plot, that storyline, something to wonder what's going to happen next. And I don't think any of them accomplish shit on those shows. So you don't have to worry about whether you didn't get the house. And I'm going to tell you another thing. If you fell at, at your goal, Failure is more interesting than success in these types of situations in reality TV. I'm telling you. So don't feel bad and don't try to hide anything or if, if you're going to be straight up, like if this is what you want, you're going to have to be straight up. You're going to have to not care about what people think. Stay, stick to this creative shit. Like he can be very creative. He can be innovative and you're going to have to not be so focused on on um the outcome being what you say it's going to be because that is not even the point that's not even the point at all so if he keeps those in mind he could he could really come up off of this and whoever else is interested because Everybody has been talking about it. Everyone is excited about it, looking forward to it. It seems like people are more interested in this than reality TV. To me, they've been more geeked up about it. 
So this is a great opportunity for 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 Gates or anyone that decides to take it. But I just wanted to say that. Um I'm gonna try to get access to my cloud or do these other videos over or I'm gonna get another device probably a, um, a desktop PC so I can go hard the way I want to and um I'll be right back with some more stuff. I just wanted to say these these messages real quick. <laughs> Alright. Oh.